Hey, how's it going there? Uh, just wanted to update you guys. Um, this is, I'm, I'm bringing this back as far as uh, if you want any part of any merchandise that, I, that I've had in the past or not. Uh, don't, don't forget, you can, go up to, you can go up here and order any of this. It's all premium as far as uh, quality. I have a, I have a, I have a map somewhere around here, but I, I, I still have the, uh, I still have the, uh, the, what was it, um, sweatshirt, or sweat jacket, one of these, this is, I still have one of these, um, anyway, so yeah, um, check it out if you want, uh, I have, uh, pillows apparently, and this is the pillows, yeah, I've got pillows, uh three four different colors um check that out uh and uh coming up next will be the my uh my main show uh stay tuned peace out hey guys here's just a reminder um i do have other content other than wrestling um this is my other channel, uh, as you can see. I I tried so many different names for for uh, for for this channel. Uh, start off as Green Party and Socials News, Green Party News, stuff of that nature, and that's why you see like Slack uh, Slack Network presents and other things like that. Uh, now it's basically just I, I'm trying to explanation in regards to this basically is um i feel that i feel now green party national party is a is just as corrupt as the democrats and republicans uh a lot more things are coming out in regards to republicans that have been proven right but i'm not a republican and i'm not a democrat i am a Social by policy, by, by socialist by policy, and it seems like majority of the socialist uh, political party parties uh, in the United States are in some way connected with the DNC in some way. And I don't want to be involved in that. So, the only thing I can suggest to you, if you're an, an independent or anybody else, just my own opinion, I'm going to be doing it myself. I don't, I'm not. I'm not saying you should, but I'm not going to vote. Um, I I've never donated to uh to any political party in the first place. We've never been. I've never been officially a part of any of any political party. Um, anyway, my point being is, if you don't want the parties the two-party system to dictate what you who and what you vote for you either you either work to get open uh, open primaries in in your state uh and uh rank choice paper ballot uh uh voting or don't vote period because i'm sorry but the only time they come around wanting to do what you want them to do is when they need your vote and they've done this for 40 plus years so i'm not saying you shouldn't but i'm saying that if you want to change consider it as far as the non-voting part and working on you know, open primaries and working on getting um uh, uh ranked choice paper ballots because there's a difference between paper ballots and machine ballot and, and machine voting machine voting can be easily hacked supposedly hacked and easily manipulated whereas in paper ballots there's a paper trail so anyway that's why i gotta do that's why i gotta say as far as that part goes otherwise this i'm trying to turn this channel into uh talking monetary theory so that's why you see majority of the stuff on here is about mmt um anyway so uh please give give, the, give this channel a try if you like the content on there that i continuously put up there then subscribe uh, if you want to donate, you can go. You can go to PayPal.me slash uh, Capital Leftist Capital GAP Network and uh, donate what you want as far as the part goes, or go to this website. Uh, check out my content, uh, all into this content, um, and subscribe, share, like, and yeah. Anyway.
ببره And welcome to the show. Yeah, I kind of want to like get a few things out, off the chest here. Uh, when I first started doing this whole thing, uh, I was hoping that I would be able to, um, and obviously things don't always pan out the way you want them to pan out, even though you, you're doing the right things and at least you, you're doing what you think is the right things. And you're trying to get, you know, trying to, get out as much information as you can about about the people you want to get the message out about and then you know uh, in, in my case I started this whole thing off wanting to promote progressiveness promote socialism uh, the very definition of it not what the propagandists have uh, put out there as what you know communism and socialism are um I, I don't think that there is a true socialist party in the United States for obvious reasons, um, because, it, you know, like everything else that the United States does t uh, take away from the world, they twist it and make it in their own, which is not very effective if you think about it. Um, you have uh, main, main, main stayers out there like a Bernie Sanders, like a... So, uh, of Shama Salant in Seattle. Uh, then you also have a uh, uh, Gloria La Riva uh, for uh, the B PSL. I have nothing against PSL as far as that part goes. Everything I've looked up, um, they are independently uh, funded, you know, stuff of that nature. Uh, SA, not so much. They, I mean, every the very moment that I saw that they were getting into bed with the DSA and DSA uh, from what from the campaigns in 2016, 2020. Uh, they, they are somewhat funded by some uh, DNC uh, uh, associated uh, people, uh, funders. Um, so I took them off as far as our park goes and uh, I, I, I was doing news and wanting to interview these people and you know, trying to get them like out there more than I thought they were. Uh, obviously, I was wrong as far as that part goes. So, uh, it's the same thing with the Green Party. I, I try to do the same thing. I try to hook up with the Green Party here in Ohio. Um, there wasn't much in regards to uh, feedback. I got in touch with uh, a treasurer. I got uh, to know uh, kind of um, some other members. Then I found out about modern monetary theory, and I found out what it was about, and I was like, "Oh, okay, so that so if I thought that if I were to be able to bring a green party into that, and they would be able to somehow put that uh, as a part of their banking um, platform, then I mean, Howie Hawkins actually had uh, talked a, a little bit about it during uh, the." Um, the open debates uh, during his run. And before then, actually, uh, he was saying that was one of the ways that the Green New Deal would be paid for. Um, but he got, he, uh, I think he got a few things a little confused, but uh, nevertheless. Then the, uh, I forget her name. Uh, anyway, uh, this other person who I, I was able to successfully organize a uh, or co-organized really uh, with the real progressives uh, a webinar uh, with uh, with Warren Mosler explaining what MM MMT was, and to many people uh, that I saw and I didn't I didn't really realize this in the chat because I was I was too busy actually listening to what Warren was saying, um, but. Evidently, uh, there was some stuff being uh, talked about in the, in the chat, which had almost nothing to do with what was actually going on as far as the part goes. And this person asked the question, and I rehash all these so I can, you know, kind of give you guys a little hint of where I'm, I'm coming from as far as what I'm trying to do here. Uh, anyways, my, my whole point of the matter is what I wanted to do originally with, with this whole thing was I wanted to build a organization, um, a network, as I, I used to call it, um, to bring in more and more people to, you know, 
say socialism, com uh, communism, stuff of that nature, and talk about those things, um, either via interviews or them bringing, you know, I wanted to kind of kind of an actual collective left. Um, what uh, what Howie Hawkins claimed he wanted at that time, but it didn't. They didn't really, it, it, I didn't see that pan out as far as the part goes. Um, anyway, so I went. So I got more and more involved in MMT because I figured if 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 nobody, as far as I could see, anyway, online, nobody, there's no real. Um, there's no real motivation to get uh, ranked choice voting or uh, or ranked choice ballot uh, ballot voting. Um, sorry, paper ballot voting uh, and uh, and other ways of getting third party to th more than two parties to the table. When I see that. And I, I I understand that is a is a work in progress, and I appreciate um, the organizations that are, that are doing that and keep doing that. And but I I don't see many people uh, talking about it online, at least not in my circle. I see more people talking about the you know national debt and deficits and this and that and else in between. And while that's all uh, all good as far as conversations, um, my 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 question would be is, how are you going to be able to get uh, this kind of system in place when you have the current people who are in 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 office don't are since everything since everything uh, as far as na the, the national debt has been so entrenched with uh, talking points. And I mean, I have to go back to when Alan Greenspan was was uh, in front of the, uh, in front of a, a committee and was it Paul Ryan, I think his name was, um, asked as far as private accounts and stuff like that. And Alan Greenspan uh, talked about how it, it, there's nothing preventing us from printing as much money as we need to pay to, to get to someone. That when I heard that, I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" Then I then I look up what a sovereign current uh, sovereign nation is, like like us and like the UK and Canada. I'm like, oh, okay. So either way, it doesn't matter what they call it; they're going to call it debt. It just depends on where it's going. And these days we've had nothing but this so-called debt going to the people who hold on to it and who invest in other places. They don't necessarily put it, they're not, they're consumers, but they're more hoarders than consumers. People like myself, we're consumers. We consume things that are around us, food and technology and whatever else. People like people like me and everybody else who are consumers of uh, uh, who are users of this currency, uh, they may they, they bring out the demand in, in industries to have those ad industries advance to build more to uh, uh, invent you know uh, invent more technology stuff of that nature. It's because of consumerism that brings all these uh, technologies out. And allows all these jobs to be expanded and be and you know stuff of that nature. But when the money is going to those who claim that that is about hiring, but yet they hire less and keep more, that's what that's what you that's the actual uh, national debt. National debt is what it has not been taxed out of the economy, you know, because. Our currency, you have to be able to get it, spend it in order for it to be taxed out as a circulation uh, of the country. At least that's my understanding of it, and it seems to be very true. Um, so as of late, I have been talking about uh, the supply uh, chain, the, uh, the wage uh, deficit. Um, or deficit is a positive word regarding regards to money and government. Um, uh, I guess you call it the wage decrease because originally when I saw this and I saw that 
and Democrats because of jump because of Mansion and all the Republicans and uh, Cinema, but against the fifteen dollar minimum wage, which is pretty much crap compared to what we actually need as a minimum wage. When the cost of living surpasses what a fifteen dollar minimum wage was, you need more in regards to that. Um, unless you are trying to bankrupt everybody and unless you're trying to, you know, get people to die from uh, starvation, illness, you name it, um, then that's completely fucked up. Um, but at the same time, you have to look at these people who you think are smarter than you in regards to voters, in regards to politicians. And they're in the same, and, and they're doing the same thing that they claim they wouldn't do, and yet people are still voting for them because they're a safe choice. At this point, there is no safe choice, but ranked choice voting. There is no safe choice other than uh, paper ballots, not electric, because that crap can be manipulated so many different ways. Um, so yeah, it's all horse shit. It's um, and for those who keep voting Democrat, who keep voting Republicans, you're helping the problem. You're not solving the problem, at least in my estimation, in my thought, in my in my head. Um, that's why we actually do need more more people who are familiarized with what MMT is, um, and we need people who know what a currency user is and how to use it. Instead of how to manipulate it into what they want, the Joe Manchin's of the world, the Joe Biden's of the world, the uh, Nancy Pelosi's of the world, the AOC's of the world. Um, those people need not apply for uh, other political positions because they don't do what the people need to do or need them to do. I don't care if people look at me in a negative way this is my thought this is what i've seen and this is how this is how i'm taking it so uh learn mmt hashtag learn mmt hashtag don't vote for the establishment hashtag get ranked choice voting going in the general and the local you name it make it a part of the overall electoral system if you don't you're a part of the fucking problem. Uh, same thing with uh, 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 paper ballots. Those have to be a must. It can't be just, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll do it for mail-in ballots, uh, stuff like that. No, every ballot must be a paper one because that way there's a paper trail. It can't be as manipulated as a computer. Uh, generate a vote. So that's my thought as far as that part goes. And that's all I got to say for the day. Uh, I'd like to thank you for listening to my little rant. If you like what you hear, subscribe. If you don't, you don't have to keep it civil, but don't cuss as much. <laughs> you know, stuff of that nature. Um, oh, yes. And just a kind of like a final note. As far as what happened at the Oscars, well, Smith, who, I mean, Chris Rock, he's, he's raking it in now because ever since that happened, uh, his tickets, who I guess they, they, weren't, they were sailing pretty well, but they weren't sailing as well. Uh, their prices jumped to $1,000 per ticket. So he's not bitching as, as much as other people are bitching about what Will Smith did. Will Smith apparently, um, when he did the way he did, he kind of increased, I suppose, the uh, the danger of comedians. Um, I mean, comics and comics have a rough life as it is. Not only you know if you're starting out, you're not eating, you're not surviving as well as you would if you had already had your big break, but you already had you know the the people in the crowd uh, messing with you about either material or the subject matter or whatever the case may be. But now, Will Smith has pretty much shown that you can go up there and slap someone or whatever the case is. So, 
I think this is going to cost him a very a large amount of somethings, you know, that sort of thing. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, peace out for now.